You are looking at Topsex Pete Alonzo, a 2020 collaboration set, Pete Alonzo and Tops. And something uh, took a while to get in, uh, but probably about a month and a half after the, uh, the clock stopped on it, but here it is. All right, welcome to Cards and Sharps. Pull up a chair. Let's uh, take a look at what we got in this. I do have two boxes. Uh, plan was just open one. Uh, the odds of getting auto are one in every two boxes, they say. So, um, hopefully, between the two, we we got an auto. Uh, so, hopefully, they grabbed me two good ones. The production run on this was 3,000 sets. Uh, it was one of those deals where uh, they had it, you could order it for a certain period of time, and then once the clock was up, that was it. They took no more orders, and then they produced whatever orders they took. So once they closed the clock, they announced that they took 3,000 uh, orders, and that's how many sets there are. So really uh, not that... Uh, how they produced a card then uh, compared to a lot of your other stuff so let's see what we can get kind of had forgot about this one it is a complete set 50 cards uh, with uh, like I said one in every two packs odds are that you will get a 51st card and that will be an auto, which would be either be a Pete Alonzo on card auto or one of somebody else. So I don't know how if they just put it inside one of these uh, inner boxes. So you get the box and then inside the box you get two uh, glass boxes. And you will get apparently a set and then you get some inserts. So we will see what we get. I don't know if the auto would be on front, on top, anywhere, or anything. So let's see what we can get. This first box, we'll look at them uh, pretty close and see what, what comes in this set. And then we will, the second box will mainly just see if we got the auto. All right, Fernando did not want to them out there it's pretty handy this is a pretty handy way to be able to just keep keep up with the the set after you open it you can store it away in these uh, or you can put it in sleeves and and display it starting off with the uh, tatis and these are in pretty nice card a pretty nice card stock uh, it's got a, a glossy finish to it and kind of looks like maybe some uh Graffiti background. So we start off with Tatis and then we got Vlad Jr. And of course Pete Alonzo. So it looks like top guys from last year's rookie class. And then now we're going to have some of this year's rookies. There's a Jordan Alvarez. We got Bo Bichette. Mr. Robert. The one everybody's been wanting in all sets. Really awesome looking card. Oh, and if you want to look at the back, the back is uh, pretty uh, Spartan. Uh, not a lot. Uh, you know, not a lot of uh, information or no stats or anything like that. So, we got Gavin Lux. And he since he did play a little bit last year, it does have some stats on there. So, it's going to show last year's stats. And we got Eloy Jimenez, Chris Paddock, Nico Horner. So this year's uh, Ricky Crop is looks to be pretty well represented. I'm guessing these are the base cards. Austin Riley, Josh Naylor, Yu Chang. Yu Chang has appeared in everything this year. Don't know if he was uh, 
Alonzo's Choice, or if that is somebody tops is putting in every product. We got Zach Gallon, good rookie season for the Diamondbacks. And there's uh, Randy Arrows Arena, who has uh, been balling out during the playoffs. And he had and he pretty solid uh, during the time he was playing during the season as well. We got Cole Tucker, Jesus Lizardo, Aquino. And you can see the background kind of in that kind of a graffiti kind of look. Uh, kind of looks like it's going to be colored to match the team that they're with. All right, these are Pete's picks, it says. This is Justin Dunn. This looks like they're just up against a painted wall. Gavin Lux again in this one. Jacob DeGrom. Garrett Cole. And there's Mr. Trout. Pete Alonzo. He has uh, shown him with the neck gator there. That must have been a picture taken from this year. I don't know that he wears one of those regularly. And this is, uh, looks like a 50 with some uh, pictures kind of in there. That's kind of a cool looking card. If you can kind of see that. And this is the 50 home run club. So these are guys that have hit 50 home runs. We got Griffey. Aaron Judge. Of course, Babe Ruth. Pete Alonzo. One of the few rookies. Hit the record for rookie home runs. We got Willie Mays. All right, and now we got Hitter's Nightmare. These are going to be pitchers that apparently give Hitter's Nightmares and kind of a surreal, spooky background on that. If you can kind of see that. DeGrom and, Ver and uh, Scherzer, both of them are tough. Verlander. Clayton Kershaw, Shane Bieber, well represented. All right, and this is going to be New York. These are going to be some Mets from uh, the current and the past. We got Doc Gooden, Jeff McNeil, David Wright, Daryl Strawberry, Piazza. And then we got... Derby greats, home run derby. We starting off with uh, Mark McGuire, Vladdy Jr. from last year, Pete Alonzo, and then Bryce Harper. Really nice looking set. Um, the photography, the quality, kind of has a a lot of a feel to uh, stadium club in it, and as you can see, these are sealed up. So we will see what we got here. I guess these are some more inserts. Oh, and we do have the auto in here. So. So we got Gary Sheffield, and the auto is going to be Josh Naylor, Cleveland Indians. Not the most uh, desired possible autograph of this set or any set, but if, if, if there's a chance of getting an auto, you want to get one. So for 60 bucks, uh, it's a nice looking set of cards. So we got Josh Naylor. And then we got Bo Bichette. And this is... Uh... Alright, these are all guys with Florida roots, it looks like. So these are uh, Florida roots players. I guess that's what it says in the background there. So we got Bo Bichette. Kyle Tucker. Daniel Vogelbeck. 
Wade Boggs, and Gary Sheffield. So Florida well represented there. So all in all, not too bad. Kind of a neat uh, set there. Let me gather these back up. These went into the smaller smaller box. We'll put those in there with Mr. Naylor on front and then we will gather these up and put those in the, the big container from whence they came. So all in all, um, you know, what do you guys think? $60, not bad, terrible, what? Um, you got all the rookies. Um, well, I'll shift that around later. I don't want to look. Aquino is not the one I want on top, the highlight and everything. So we'll we'll rearrange that a little later. So 60 bucks and what the cards are costing today. Uh, you think of what else you could get for 60 bucks. Uh, you know, you got all the top rookies. You got uh, the good players, veteran. You got some good veterans. You got the good players from last year. So all in all, not really too bad. Uh, all things considering, and we got an auto. So sixty bucks. I'm not going to complain. What else can you get for sixty bucks? Uh, you can't even get a heritage set for for sixty dollars. So, um, and I'm, and to be honest with you, what we have gotten out of here. Um, it's more desirable to me than, than Heritage uh, overall. So what we're going to do is just, um, this is going to be the exact same set. They maybe put them in a little different order. Nope, this, one, this gets still got Tatis on the front. So we're going to set that aside. And we know if we got an auto, it is going to be in this one. Now, just uh, out of curiosity, before I open these and start doing the video, I weighed both boxes, and they both weighed exactly the same. So, I don't know how much a card weighs, but, and it's, and the auto does not replace another card. It is a actually a 51st card. You get the set plus the, the extra card. So, hopefully that means we got lucky, and... We'll get two autos, and as we know, it'll come out of this box, so let's look real quick. Yep, yep we got one. Did you, did you see it? Let's turn it over here. So for those of you that did not catch that, we'll do the slow reveal. I seen who it was, so let me shake it out here where you can't see. Do not want to break the... Uh, the suspense for you guys so and you can see these the rest of the cards these are the Florida Florida guys so it's the same same cards that were in the other set and we got Sheffield on front which he was in the other one so we got an auto here so all in all we did real well two autos two boxes so uh, cannot complain let's uh, see what we got here and it's a Met and it's numbered 6 of 99, so, and it is Alonzo, Pete Alonzo, and it is an on-card auto. This is a Pete Alonzo and the um, New York Mets uh, base design. I don't know uh, which, what all product uh, he, uh, he was in. You can see, congratulations, you received the autographed card of Pete Alonzo from Topps. And Pete, not as uh, big a get as it would have been this time last year, but, um, you know, he quietly, uh, after a slow start, quietly came back and, uh, and did really well second half of this short season. And I think he ended up somewhere around 16 home runs, 45 RBIs thereabouts, ended up Average, uh, after hanging around the 200 mark, he ended up, I think, around 233. So, 
you know, he was on a pace uh, full season. You know, he probably would have had his 40 to 50 home runs, uh, 100, around 100 RBIs, probably would have hit 240, 250. Pretty, and that, I think that's going to be something you can probably plug in for him uh, every year and for a lot of years to come. So there you go. Let's we'll give you a good close look at that one. Really nice. Um, yeah, if the odds were one auto every two uh, boxes. So two boxes, we get two autos. I watched a break uh, yesterday of this product, and um, they opened two boxes and did not get an auto out of either one. So sorry, guys. Looks like I got one of your autos. But that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So uh, we got lucky. It, it was our day. I'm glad I opened both boxes now. All right, guys, that is it. Uh, let me know what you uh, think of the Alonzo set. Um, you know, like I said, for sixty bucks, it's uh, you get a complete set. You don't have to worry about whether you're going to get the good cards or not. It's only three thousand of the base of any of the cards produced, unless you get a numbered card. And all in all. Uh, not a not a bad deal, especially if you get an auto. That's it. Give them like and subscribe, and uh, we have more stuff coming. Um, we'll probably have this video up before uh, I, some of the stuff I have coming in. I have Onyx extended. I've got uh, triple threads. I know I'm late to the game on that, but uh, my people are slow getting stuff out to me. And I've got a uh, gold label coming. It's also should be here. Uh, and I'm going on vacation in the next week. So hopefully it all gets here in time for me to get those posted up and posted before I go on vacation. So that is it. We'll see you guys next time.